Hi, and welcome to Intermediate Strength Workout number 505. This is a full body 20 minute no equipment workout. Okay, so today we've got supersets. We're gonna be doing close grip push ups with chinny crunch for two rounds. And before moving on to crab hold with walk and star crunch, and then moving on to chameleon to bear crunch with jump squats, and then moving on to plank rows with squat and twist. And finally, we have chair dips with a wall set. We're we'll working for 45 seconds and resting for 15 seconds and repeating each round twice. Let's go. Okay, so first up, we have our close grip push ups. You want to keep your hands nice and close together, elbows by your side with a narrow grip, core muscles on and pushing up and down as many times as we can in 45 seconds. I want to thank you guys for showing up today, it's half the work already done. Let's get our mind right and let's power through this workout today. Hit it hard, we want to go as hard as we can. How do we push? The faster and the better results we get. Simple as that. When you get strong, you gotta do the work. That's why you're here for today. We're doing the work. Three seconds, two, one. And speaking of work, coming up next, we have chinny crunches. So lying flat on your back, and all we're doing is sitting up, and as we sit up, we bring one knee up to our chest and then place it back down again and lie down again and repeat on the opposite side. Go for it. So one knee and then the opposite knee. Nice and easy. So the chinny crunch is actually working our lower abdominals when we bring our knee up. It's working our upper abdominals when we sit up the fact that we're bringing one knee up and not both knees up means that the body's got a counterbalance and that switches on our oblique muscles as well as our deep core transverse abdominis. So this pretty much works your overall core in one movement. So it's a great exercise for your abs. Okay, and getting back into it, straight to close grip push-ups. I love this song. This is probably one of my most favorite songs. You know why? Because it's about living true. And that's what it's all about. Living true to yourself. You know you have to be the best version of yourself. You know you have to do this. You know you have to stay strong, not only for yourself, but for those around you, your loved ones. You know, being your best. Like I've always said to all of our members, the living true component of what you chew and what you do is the glue that sticks it all together. It's the missing link. Good, get ready to go back to our chinis. It's the biggest reason why we have a global obesity epidemic. Not only obesity, but it extends to everything in life. It's the missing link. It's what everybody's missing. It's what most people don't get. So make sure that you invest the time in the program, mastering every attribute of living true. It will not only revolutionize your health and happiness, but your entire life. What you chew, what you do in living true. Living true is the glue that sticks it together. Five seconds to go from now. Keep going, you're almost there. Get his abs burning. Awesome, so up next we have a crab hold with a walk. So all you're doing here is lifting your hips up as high as possible, trying to keep a right angle between your knees and your arms, and then walking backwards and forwards. So your hips will obviously sag just slightly, but try to always keep lifting up, okay? 
So what you're strengthening here is your lower back, your core muscles, your hamstrings, your shoulders, your triceps, chest a little bit, nice and easy. If you've got the space, you can walk back and forth in one straight line if you want, it's up to you. You can also walk to the side if you wanted to, but this exercise is specifically forwards and backwards. So more hamstrings, more quads, more shoulders. Good, and we've got star crunch up next. Okay, so it's similar to a V crunch, but you're not sitting all the way up. Just coming up into a crunch, but you are bringing your legs all the way up. The other difference between this and a V crunch is that your arms and feet are much wider. Okay, so just crunching up and as you crunch up, bring those legs right up and touch your shins. If you want to touch further up, you can touch further up. If you can't reach your shins, touch your knees. If you are finding it too challenging, you can bend your knees. So you do a little pelvic tilt and then touch your wrists to your knees. If it's too easy, you can go straight into a full V crunch, but these are pretty much just as challenging as a V crunch because they're faster. Great work, so we're gonna go straight to round two of crab hold with a walk. Same thing as before, engage those glutes to make sure your hips don't sink. And go for it, just walking back and forward Keep going, keep those hips high. I know it's hard. The only way to get through it is to get through it. Simple as that. Once you're through it, then you don't have to get through it anymore. Keep going, 20 seconds. Almost there, keep that bum high. Great work, you know, back to your star crunches. And go for it. So yeah, when the going gets tough with any of these exercises, any of these workouts, you need to keep living true to yourself. Remember your why, why are you doing this? The moment you start thinking about how much it hurts, how much it burns, how much you don't want to do it, is the moment that you'll give up, okay? So try to remember the big picture, the why of why you started this journey, why you want to get strong, why you want to stay strong, and that'll be your motivational fuel to keep on going. Well done. So up next, we have Chameleon to Bear Crunch. So all you want to do here is engage your core and keep your back nice and straight. So all we're doing is a little dip back, come forward, knee comes up, touches your elbow. You don't have to bang your elbow like I'm doing. And just touch your elbow. So you're working your shoulders here, your lats a little bit, and your core, and your shoulders. A lot of muscle groups actually. Almost there, 10 seconds. Great work, and up next we have jump squats. So it's an explosive drive up, pushing through your heels, oh, and the balls of your feet if you want. And keeping your knees soft on impact to avoid impact on your joints. 
So getting out as many jump squats as you can in the time specified. Doing great. And your legs are probably burning here. This is where it's important to fall in love with the process of working out, of feeling that burn. Great work, because every time you feel that burn, it means you're getting stronger. You're getting better, little by little, day by day. And let's go again. Need an elbow, lean back. Almost there. Great work. And we're gonna go straight back to our jump squats in 10 seconds time. Keep going, keep going, you're doing great. All the way up, all the way down. It's all about getting into that zone and just pushing through. Feeling the pain and doing it anyway. Well done. Really strengthening your legs there. So a quick drink break if you want it. Um, and then we're going to go straight on into plank rows. So get onto the ground. Get rid of the go. Five seconds time. Keep your core and glutes engaged for a level and stable torso here. And as you lift that hand, really squeeze that shoulder blade in towards your spine. The wider your feet, the more stable you are, the easier it is. The closer your feet, the more narrow it is, the more you have to balance and really activate that core, glutes and hips to hold you up, especially. We're trying to create that dynamic tension by pushing down through the support arm, the palm of the support arm, whilst pulling up with the opposite arm. Imagining a string tied to your elbow and someone, a ventriloquist if you like, pulling the string up and as it's pulling up, your shoulder blade's sliding in towards your spine and down a little. Fantastic work. So up next, you've got a squat with a twist. So it's literally just squatting down. It's a wide squat, squat down, twist your knee in, and then stand up. In, you're gonna keep your knee aligned with your rotating toes. Twist in, twist in, and up. So all we're doing here is adding that twisting motion whilst we're down in a squat to bring in, in those internal rotators, the ductor muscles. Good. Whilst keeping the tension on our quads and glutes. Almost there. Excellent work. Up next, we've got our plank rows. Round two. And go for it.
keep going, you're doing great. Really pull that hand up and squeeze those inner back muscles every time. Well done. We go one more set of the squat and twist. So all these workouts contain an even balance of leg and upper body movements. They are full body workouts. Too many people don't train their legs enough when it comes to strength training. Your legs are half your body which is why we always work them the same amount as our upper body in these workouts. And the legs are like having a strong foundation. So you need to always work your legs in every workout as well as your core. Keep you standing all day, every day, very important. Keep going five seconds time. Legs should be burning here. Up next, we've got chair dips. You can do them against a coffee table, if you've got one. A chair, as long as it's strong enough. Get ready to go. Slow yourself straight down and up and out on a 45 degree angle. We we'll keep those elbows tucked in. Notice how to start position. You've got 90 a 90 degree bend in your knees. If your feet are too far away, you won't have that 90 degree bend. Also, if your feet are too close in towards a chair, you also won't have that 90 degree bend. So make sure that you place your feet in the right position before you start, it makes a little difference. And so does keeping your elbows in and pushing up and out on that 45 degree angle if you can. Great work. Up next, we have a wall sit. So you want to keep your thighs parallel to the ground and keep your head, shoulders and upper back against the wall. And just holding it. If your legs are burning and you want to stand up, then just try to disassociate from the pain. Focus on what you're doing today. After you finish this workout, 10 seconds to go. Great work, stand up, give your legs a shake out and get ready to get straight back into your chair dips. We get those triceps burning as elbows are gonna to wanna to flare out, so keep them nice and close together. Pull yourself all the way down, up and out. Now it's not easy, your arms are probably burning now, but keep going. You need to push yourself to do more all the time. Don't accept a life of average. Work hard, train hard, and always be the best you can be, okay? We always push, push, push more, 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 more. It's how our bodies change. Push out of our comfort zone. Everything we want in life is outside of our comfort zone, whether we are aware of that or not. But we need to get out of our comfort zone. And that includes not only in life in general, but in pretty much in most of these workouts. You need to be pushing yourself as hard as you can. 
If it's not pushing, if it's not you know challenging you, then go up a level, go to the next level. It's still not hard enough, write to me, and I'll make up some harder workouts. <laughs> All right, 15 seconds to go. This is your last exercise. Don't forget to do a stretch down and cool down after you finish this exercise. I want to thank you guys for showing up and bringing your A game. And I'll see you in the next workout. Well done.